Oh, sorry. I'm just enjoying a nice trumpet. Well, that's gone cold. Hey guys, so I've been nominated by LA Galaxies <laughs> to do the British tag. Now first I'm going to apologise for the cold I have. But it's actually strangely convenient that I do have a cold. Because if you live in Britain, you're going to get a cold. It is cold. And secondly, I was actually born in Australia, so I don't know if that excludes me or anything. Okay. Question one. How many cups of tea do you have a day and how many sugars? I have never liked tea or coffee. Never have, never will. It's not been a problem for me in my life so far, but I know that as I get older, it's going to be a really big inconvenience. So I can guarantee to triple your investments in just three years. Excellent. Yes. One large black coffee. Oh, that's me. Thank you. And a small banana fun shake. Oh, that's me. So, do we have a deal? Favourite part of your roast? Now the clue's kind of in the title here. It's got to be the roast potato. <sighs> Can't beat the roasties. Save the best till last, and I always do. But, I'm going to raise a point here. When Ellie Galaxies did her video, she said her favourite part of the roast dinner was the mashed potato. <sighs> Calm down, guys. Calm down. Stop. Cut the music. The mashed potato. Well done, Ellie. You've just ruined the roast with a mash. I think the, the whole thing about roast dinner is the whole roastiness of the roast potatoes. You know, the whole bit about roast. And you've put mash on there. Favourite dunking biscuit. As I specified earlier, I don't drink tea or coffee, so I have no reason to dunk a biscuit. I have no reason for the dunk in my life. So I'm just going to use this opportunity to make a basketball-based biscuit pun. Um, my favourite dunking biscuit is Michael... Bourbon. Favourite quintessentially British pastime? I've probably pronounced that wrong. Irony. But I'm going to go with something a bit different here. I'm going to go with the bank holiday. That's right. Here in Britain, we get a whole day off just because the banks are closed. We get a holiday specifically for the banks being shut. Now you might be saying, Yeah, but I get the bank holiday too in my country. I don't know what accent that was, and I apologise. But, yes, I know other countries do have the bank holiday, but it originated in Britain. So, that's why I've chosen it. Problem. Favourite word. Now, I've got people who can vouch for me that I say this way too often. And if I look back at my YouTube videos, I've probably said it more than enough times. But my favourite word is mint. 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 Now, this doesn't mean like a breath mint, or say if you're minted with lots of money. It just means, for a rough translation, awesome. So you go, so where you'd say, oh, that's awesome, yo, that's mint. Cockney rhyming slang. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry, that's the old dog and bone. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, oh. Favourite sweet? It's got to be pear drops. Two different sides, one red, one yellow, two different flavours. They are amazing. Or better yet, perfect. What would your pub be called? Now, I thought about this way too long and way too hard, but I'm so glad with the final result I got. My pub would be called the Stop Wine Inn. It incorporates a pun and alcohol. Perfect. And as the proprietor, I'd make sure it was the law that you had to pronounce it in Arnold Schwarzenegger's accent. Stop whining. Put that cookie down. No. Number one British person. Now it's not specified whether they're fictionalized or real, so I'm gonna go with Alan Partridge. Aha! This is great banter. This really is great banter. Favourite shop? I've got to go with Top Man because nowhere else can I buy my crotch hugging, ball crushing, sperm killing tight jeans from. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, a great excuse to show off my sweet boots. Ladies, if you want to be fertilised, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and favourite restaurant, it's got to be the British classic, KFC. Yes, KFC. Kent fried chicken is just... 
What British song pops into your head? Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia. Mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me. For me. For me. And finally, Marmite. Well, you either love it or you hate it. Actually, that's not a bad slogan. But I indeed do love it. But for those who hate Marmite, when I was in Australia, there's something even worse than Marmite. It's called Vegemite. Now, if you thought Marmite was bad, this thing is ugh, disgusting. So bad, in fact, that when I went scuba diving, you had to sign on after you went scuba diving back onto the boat so that they knew you was on the boat. And if you didn't, the punishment was to eat this. That's how bad it is. It is disgusting. But because I love you guys, I'm going to try some now on here. And ugh. see, it doesn't even want to come out the tube. Ugh. 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 Just for you guys. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, minging. Hang on. <coughs> that wasn't product placement. I just had to get rid of that taste. Ugh. Jeez. Yes, it is that bad. And there we have it, we've come to the end of the British tag. And that's what makes me British chaps. <laughs> I've got no one to tag, so if you're British and you're watching it, go for it. <laughs> and now I'm going to enjoy a nice cold crumpet. <laughs> Please like, comment and subscribe. Ugh. Ugh. Ben and Vegemite.